Hello, everyone. Good to be with you. It's nice, it's actually very familiar for me. This is the old game for a laugh set. Serious matters, though, today. Thank you for braving the elements to be with us for this presentation and, of course, luncheon. Now, Harry Goodman, a legend in his own lunchtime, we have to say. But uh, seriously, everybody knows what Harry and the ILG team have done for tourism and travel. But that's the past. Don't let's talk about that today. We want to talk about the future, and their vision is Coach Europe. And I'm sure you're going to have some questions. In a moment, Harry will be joining me here at this seat. I certainly have got some questions, and then I'll throw the forum open, and you can ask whatever it is that you want. Now, it's quite important, I think, though, to illustrate Coach Europe, first of all, before we actually talk about it. So can we start with a short presentation? It only takes three minutes, and, well, you'll be able to see exactly what Coach Europe is for yourselves. Here it is. In 1979, the International Leisure Group launched Air Europe. Since then, we have won the Charter Airline of the Year Award on four occasions. In 1987, we launched Air Europe's scheduled services. Last year, the UK travel trade nominated Air Europe as the best scheduled airline in the world. In 1989, we will bring these winning qualities to our new fleet, Coach Europe. The levels of training we have achieved for Air Europe will be brought to our coach crews, guaranteeing the same high standards of service for which Air Europe has become famous. The standards of one of the world's best airlines take to the road. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the man himself, Harry Goodman. Good morning, Harry. Good morning. 
I can't keep up with you. You have to try. Well, I know it's very hard. <laughs> no, it really is. You've just got us all airborne. You've spent, what is it, 1.6 billion on new aircraft. Oh. We all know into Sun and Global and Club 1830. And now it's suddenly coaches. Can you put it into perspective? Yes, you, you've got a certain market that travels by air. And it, and it's a growing and a fast growing market. But there's also a huge market that wants to travel by coach for many reasons. You know, some of them do suffer from air sickness, some of them have ear trouble and pressurization trouble, and some of them actually like the journey. It's a huge market that hasn't been properly catered for. But you don't think being an air in the airline business one way, you're going to be biting off the hand that feeds the, the other ones? No, not at all. We, we intend in the group to provide a complete European transportation system. And coaches play a very big part of that, of course. Well, you've just said you don't think the existing coach system is very good. Why not? Well, if you look at the image of coaches, the image of coaches, the passenger that gets on a bus in the centre of London and it travels, then they travel to Blackpool. And that coach is generally uncomfortable, it's got rigid seats. We want to change all that and bring new standards of service to that market. What sort of things? Well, we think that coach travel should be as comfortable. Uh, let's go into something. For instance, when's the last time you heard somebody say the service on board that coach was fantastic. It never happens. Well, during the train strike, a lot of people defected, didn't they, to coaches? And I think probably have stayed there. Well, they defected, but they weren't given the standards that we feel we ought to offer. And we believe a coach should be the same as an aircraft, but travel on a road. And therefore, we have captains, we have hostesses, we have meal service, we have in-coach entertainment. Sick bags. No, we don't have soup bags. <laughs> what sort of person is going to t take up on this service? Well, many people, for one reason or another, don't want to travel by air. They'll say that, that like seeing scenery, that like taking a more leisurely way, but have been put off in many instances because, because coach travel has been uncomfortable. Mm. So you keep coming back to discomfort. So how are you going to make it better? What are you going to do? What is the plan for the future? Well, the plan is, as I said before, it's going to be exactly the same as travelling on an Air Europe flight. We will have trained air hostesses. Mm. The drivers become captains and train. We have a control operation room. And that coach, that bus, is in contact with the operations room in Leeds, which will be the centre of it, wherever they are in Europe. So air aircraft queues and, and delays, what will happen if you break down? I'm sorting all the nasty yes, questions. Yes, no, that's, that's the question to ask, is that we have contacts with major garages, major coach companies on every route throughout Europe. Our control centre is in touch with the coach at all times. And they're also control, in control of these emergency points. Mm. You know, they're going to be needed occasionally, but they're all planned out, we know where they are, and we're in 24-hour contact with them. And what the airlines, I believe, they have to put you up if you've missed a flight, don't they? I mean, it's their, it's their job if you've missed a connection, they have to put you up. If you break down, do you then put me up? Somewhere? Oh, if, if we break down, we, we anticipate that we'd have a new coach with you mm. within, within, within two to three hours. If we don't, of course, you're our responsibility. We take care of you. Is it going to be, I mean, I, could I in the future then go out of LWT and see a bus stop and it says the number nine to Paris? Is well, that what you're doing? Well, you, you, you won't see a, uh, a bus stop, but you'll go to a, a central station. Mm. And even we're looking at the central stations now. And, to, and they're not that comfortable to upgrade the comfort in the parts that we'll use but you'll certainly be able to book with us mm -hmm. to go to Paris. But the intention is, not only will you be able to go to Paris, you'll then be able to book a Coach Europe bus from Paris to Madrid mm. or but Paris to Rome. That's the future, isn't it? What, future. What's, what will you be telling people now? What we're telling people now is, is we're looking at the future. And the initial stage is because of highly, high regulation in Europe, we cannot offer scheduled services, very much like we couldn't in the airline businesses. But we will offer you new standards on our packages. Mm. And you can go down and take a seven day or a 10 day or 14 day package, you know, from anywhere in the UK to Spain, Italy, France, Greece, etc. I know I keep coming back to this, but I just don't think people are, are coach conscious at the moment. You know, they think of Harry Goodman and the airlines, they don't think of you, Harry, on the buses. How long do you think it's going to take to seduce people onto the roads? Well, it, it, it's going to be an ongoing process. Um, we think that immediately they travel with us. It's something they'll come back and talk about. You know, mm. it's going to be something that they'll, they'll be surprised at. You know, there'll be in, in coach magazines. Mm. You know, there'll be newspapers. There'll be meal service. There'll be drink service. There'll be films. You know, it's going to be a completely new concept in coach travel. It'll be cheap. Well, I was just coming on to that, of course. Hey, could you just ask this?